Right guys, we're back again. This time we have another enthalpy change question. To start off with, I'm just going to label these as 1, 2 and 3. So we've got these three reactions. Again, we have two enthalpy changes, but this time they're represented with x and y kilojoules. And what we need to do is rearrange these equations uh, to get equation 3. Three, so the reaction number three. So the first thing I do, I'm looking at uh, reaction number one, and I can see that I've got BrF, but two moles of it on the product side, but I need it on the reactant side. So there's two moles here on the products. So I'm going to flip it. Remember when I'm flipping this, and I also need to account for the number of moles. So let's just flip it first. So I'm going to write down 2BRF and Br2 plus F2. Now, because I flipped it, the delta H value now becomes minus X, okay? Because it's going in the opposite direction. But we haven't finished there. Now, as you can see, in reaction 3, we only have one mole of this. So I'm going to divide everything by 2. So this, let's just write it here now. So let's divide by 2. So this becomes BRF, which is looking more like what we want. This becomes a half a mole of bromium, or bromine uh, molecules, and here we also have half a mole of fluorine and because we have half this now the delta H also becomes minus a half X so the next thing I'm looking at is reaction number two as you can see the BRF3 um, is on the product side this thing here and it's also on the product side here so that makes life a bit easier so I am going to look at the moles now so we have two moles in reaction two but we need one mole in reaction three so immediately I'm gonna half everything okay so half BR2 so that's BR2 that we're halving, okay, plus one and a half fluorine will go to BRF3. Now that looks more like what we want, right? So let's now eliminate things that we can from both sides of the equation so there's a half bromine there that can be removed that can be removed so that's no longer needed we can remove half and half there which leaves behind this equation brf plus f2 and this produces b r F3. Okay, now we didn't account for what we did with the energy change for Y. So let's have a look at that. Um, so the delta H would equal, remember we've just half this, okay? So it'd be half Y. Now this equation. I can tick off with three that's what we want now all we need to do is put these equations together so we have half okay on both sides so that's something common and we have a minus X and we need to add this to Y that kind of satisfies things and according to this it would be C. Let's reveal that. Yes, there we go.
So there you go. Just a quick summary. We are looking at equation one and two, rearranging as as needed to find equation three. In the process, we might have to flip the signs from negative to positive or positive to negative. If we're dividing or multiplying the moles, we have to do it accordingly. I hope that made sense.